Hey, everybody. Welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. Happy Wednesday. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking a little MLB as the Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Dodgers play game two of a three-game set at Chavez Ravine. It was a really good Tuesday for us. We hit our WNBA free pick video, our MLB free pick video, and client plays went eight, zero, and one. So let's look to keep the good times rolling. Uh, and uh, the Rangers and Dodgers going over the posted total was one of my big winners on Tuesday night. And I'm going back to the well, both on this game and on the exact bet. I like the high side in uh, Texas and LA. And let me tell you why. First of all, the Rangers come in at 31 and 35, while the Dodgers have righted the ship after a, a little shaky end to May. And they, they were somewhat subpar for the last couple of weeks last month and uh, come in 42 and 26. They're not uh, dominating the league like many anticipated they would, but they have a nice, comfortable lead in the NL West. And yesterday's game was a nice, comfortable win for those who uh, joined me in backing the over on eight and a half runs. Uh, there were 15 runs through six innings as LA led 14 to one, made me want to uh, rethink and not uh, riding the Dodgers on the run line in that game for the full game, but uh, didn't do that. And it was a, a situation where uh, we didn't trust James Paxton enough. And uh, Paxton did his job, and certainly the Los Angeles Dodgers bats did theirs. Uh, but, you know, it, I, like I mentioned in late May, it, was, it seemed like uh, the Dodgers bats had taken a hiatus, and certainly Mookie Betts went into a slump, Shohei Otani too. Um, you know, they had their struggles against the Yankees, but won two or three in the Bronx. But, I mean, in, in terms of Coming up short, Brandon Webb and Yu Darvish both pitched gems against the Dodgers. Uh, and while that's uh, nothing to be ashamed about, the likes of Dakota Hudson and Ryan Nelson also dominated the Dodgers lineup. So, uh, you know, they've worked out those issues and uh, come into this contest seven and two in the month of June. And uh, they have scored, uh, what, 11 or more runs in three of the last five games. So certainly the Dodgers offense is flexing again. The Rangers have been Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde this month uh, in their victories. They've scored at least six runs in all four wins. And in all five losses that they suffered, they've scored two or fewer. Uh, and so that was the case last night where they got beaten uh, 15 to two. And they didn't get that second run until Ezekiel Duran went deep in the seventh inning. Dodgers added one more uh, for posterity, and, and you had a 17-run outburst, and we'll look to uh, continue that by backing over here. It's eight at DraftKings, eight and a half everywhere else. You can uh, obviously uh, you, you're going to want to bet uh, on an uh, on a number that is uh, most advantageous to you. So if you can get an eight, get an eight. Uh, but yeah, we're going to expect at least nine runs to be scored in this contest. It's John Gray against Walker Bueller. Gray is 2-2 two two with a 2.12 ERA thus far this season, uh, a 1.18 whip. He's having a great season, especially considering he had taken a step back uh, over the past few seasons. But he's on three days rest here for the second time uh, in this short season. Uh, he came out of the bullpen on 420 against the Braves and then started a couple of days later against the Mariners and fared pretty well. Struck out seven and four and two-thirds. He came out of the bullpen on Saturday against the Giants in his first uh, outing after a groin strain knocked him to the IL. So from that standpoint, we're fading him in a situation that is not customary. And uh, certainly it's not because of his form because Gray's been pretty good this year. And as far as Bueller goes, he hasn't looked like Walker Bueller just yet. Uh, he's one and one with a 3.38 ERA at home over three Dodgers uh, stadium starts this season. Uh, but this is his seventh start and he has only worked one quality start all season long. He's only worked six full innings twice. Uh, he's gotten through only one game where he has not allowed a home run. So certainly Walker Buehler still looking to find it after uh, coming back from, you know, Tommy John surgery. And so he is uh, probably going to be a finished product in terms of what we expect from Walker Buehler after the All-Star break. Until then, proceed with caution, and we're going to look to fade him here uh, as part of our overchasing. And uh Jonah Heim is the only hitter that has seen him extremely well, even short sample size. He's two for three. Adalas Garcia is 0 for three against him, and Marcus Simeon just 0 for one. As far as uh, Dodgers that have had success against uh, 
you know, the uh, John Gray, it's Freddie Freeman leading the way at four for 15 with a home run. He's been really good of late. So if you like uh, you know, runs, hits, and RBIs props or total basis props, Freeman's probably your guy. T. Oscar Hernandez has been great of late, uh, and uh, he is two for six in his career against John Gray. Jason Hayward's one for five. Austin uh, Barnes is three for nine. Mookie Betts is one for three. And Shohei Otani has never faced him. So that's where we're going here, the over on uh, eight and a half or at DraftKings, eight runs between the Texas Rangers and Los Angeles Dodgers in game two of their series. I want you to smash that like button and make sure that you're subscribed to all our videos here at Wager Talk TV. We have some wonderful site-wide deals at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo. You can get uh, $20 off a three-day pass from me uh, by using coupon code TM30DAY, TM30DAY. Uh, and you can check out all of my packages at uh, sm.buzz slash tdm that takes you to my page. There's another separate free play uh, that's not this one on that page in MLB tonight. And this one will probably end up being a client play. I want to make sure uh, that lineups are to my liking. And hopefully we get Corey Seager in there. Seager uh, was honored last night. Uh, in his first trip to Dodger Stadium since winning a World Series with L.A., and uh, but was unable to play. He has been out of the lineup with a hamstring issue for the last few days. So we'll see if he gets in there. That would certainly help the over cause because I don't think he needs an adjustment period. He's that good a hitter. Uh, and uh, But like I said, make sure you visit my page. You uh, like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, we, we do have a bunch of deals to take advantage of at Wager Talk and Sports Memo, including a seven-day pass for just 64 bucks. I have a 5% play on Game 3 of the NBA Finals. We'll have a WNBA MLB package up as well. So be sure to check out my page, again, sm.buzz.tdm, and follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful Wednesday. Appreciate it.